Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert's Tuesday Tip. So, uh, put together a video for you on the uh, new Trimble IBSS, Internet-Based Surveying Solutions, what I'm going to call it. Um, so, I'm going to Trimble Dimensions. Hopefully, this comes out Tuesday morning. I will probably be maybe presenting when this comes out. I'm not sure. Sometime Tuesday, I'm presenting with Ethan on the IBSS, plus some of the other things that Trimble has got in Trimble Access, some of the enhancements and stuff. So anyways, hopefully I'll see you guys at Trimble Dimensions. If not, enjoy the video and oh, check it out. I got the front end of the truck fixed. So um, only took me two years. <laughs> you know, insurance covered it. I just couldn't stop long enough to get it fixed. So finally, while I was in Hawaii for two weeks, I got it fixed, so <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Enjoy the Tuesday tip, IBSS, check it out, it's pretty cool. Um, let's run in here and let's get this going. Okay guys, let's look at uh, this IBSS thing. So, 2023.10, Trimble added IBSS, which is Internet Base Serving Solutions. I'm not sure what the SS stands for, but I'm assuming it's serving solutions. I know it's internet based. So um, what Trimble has done is is um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've been doing cell phone based rover for ten plus years, and um, they finally realized how important it is to go cell phone based rover for us surveyors. So they've added this in. Now you'll notice that a while back they added in a Wi-Fi connection to the receiver to a, to an R12. So they let you uh, get into through the data collector, let you go in and configure the Wi-Fi. That was so they could do this IBSS. So what, you, what you're gonna need for the base station is you need a Wi-Fi. I've got this one. I also have this one. So this is, um, this is a Netgear, 100 bucks on uh, Amazon, it's all you need. So, uh, 100 bucks on Amazon, Amazon go to uh, DAC, Data Activation Center, get you a SIM card. Life is good, man. Make your life easy. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys how to set all this up. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the data collector. We're going to set up the survey style, and then I'm going to show you the rest of it. Okay? So, let's uh, get the old man glasses on real quick. Oh, I poke my eye out. Um... Okay, so in order for this to work, what they've done is they've got it set up so that um, you have to be on the cloud to make this work. Now, what does that mean? That means that you've got to keep your access warranties up to date. Now, you know you've got in 2023 access that came out with a background map, which everybody thinks is cool. Same thing, you've got to keep the warranties up to date. You let your warranties run out, you ain't going to have a background map anymore, okay? So make sure you keep your background or your uh, warranties up to date and all this stuff is going to work. So this IBSS, Tidy Warranties, Tidy Connect. You need a project on Connect in order for this internet base, and that is cell phone based rover connection. You need internet at your base, you need internet at your rover for this to work. Got it? Okay. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna create a new project. This new project I will call um, IBSS, whoops, and if I don't do capital letter somebody get all over me I B S S YouTube because I'm doing a YouTube video on it okay enter create okay so now it wants me to create a job so I'm just gonna call it YouTube Mississippi East blah 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 enter accept okay so now I've created a project and I've created a job but the project is not on the cloud yet so let's put it on the cloud I'm gonna show you how to do that hit the hamburger button go up to IBSS YouTube project up there hit that so now you're gonna notice that the IBSS YouTube is not on um, is not on the cloud yet so I gotta sign in Let me hit that sign in using okay it's gonna ask me to sign in gotta put my email address in there next So now it needs my password. So 
sign in. Okay, so now I'm signed in. It's giving me all my stuff that's on Connect, right? So if I go and look for... Okay, so you're going to want to go over to the three buttons on the right to upload this to the cloud. So upload. I'm going to say I'm going to do it Trimble Connect. Say yes. Creating project. Now you see it's got a little cloud by, beside it, right? Okay, so we're good to go on the project. Project is, is in Trimble Connect. Got to have that set up. When you keep your warranties up, you have um, access to Trimble Connect. I'm going to say open, open. Okay. So now we have the project and job open, so now let's create the survey style. So let's go into settings, let's go to survey style. I've got an IBSS in there, let me just delete it so we can start this over again. I'm going to say new, I'm going to call it IBSS. Now this is, pr whoops, this is pretty easy to set up. Enter, accept. Okay, so I like to start out at the base, so let's go to base, I'm going to say edit. I'm going to say R12 internal. So internal CMRX. I like to use the lever extension. I want two meters for height. Enter. I want to make sure all my satellites are on. Except base data link. I want to go to internet connection. And you'll see it now. It says GNSS correction source. It used to say GNSS contact, right? So let's hit that. IBSS is built in. If I edit IBSS, I only have two options. Maximum capability or enhanced security. So I would just leave it on maximum capability if it was me, unless you're doing something top secret. I don't know. Um, store. Accept. My GNSS internet source, I'm going to be using a MiFi that I bought off of Amazon. And I got a SIM card in here from DAC, DAC Activation Center. Good to go. So I'm going to say, receiver internet Wi-Fi, accept. I don't need to prompt for internet source. I don't need to prompt for GNSS correction source. I'm good to go, accept, okay? So let's go to the rover options. I'm going to say R12 by internal. I'm just going to say two meters, enter. I'm going to turn the tilt stuff off because I don't want to have to deal with that right now. I'm going to turn off the prompt station index. I'm going to turn on L5, turn on the satellites. Everything else is good. Rover data link. There again, I just want to do internet connection. I want to choose IBSS. You know what? Let me show you. IBSS, if I edit it, it's going to say the same thing. Store. Okay? Accept. Controller internet source, either I've got a SIM card in the data collector or I've got another MiFi. Accept and store. So, um, something that you guys might find interesting. Let's see here if I'm right. Which internet am I using? Nope, I'm using GNSS internet. See that surveying with Robert? That is actually um, Starlink. Connect. I'm going to use Starlink for my, uh, for my rover. Okay, so, internet going through the base is this one. Internet going through the rover is not this one. <laughs> it's actually Starlink. Okay, so I've got a Starlink thing mounted on the roof. Um, okay, so I've got that all set up and ready to roll. Let me set these GPS receivers outside the door out here so we can, I can show you guys how to connect up with it. Okay, so we're going to go in and we're going to say measure and we're going to go to IBSS and we'll say start base. Okay, so it's asking me for a stream name. Now, before we get too far down the road, let me show you something. Let's back up. Let me go into instrument. Let me go to receiver settings, Wi-Fi, client. I don't have an internet connection source yet. Hmm, so I need to do that. So let's back up. Let me see what happens. If I say measure, IBSS, start, start base. Create a stream name. We'll just call it YouTube. How about we call it YouTube underscore control. 
So what that stream is, is so on this project that we're working on, this YouTube project, um, as long as I am in this project, I've got that stream called YouTube. Now, John, Frank, Sam, Crew, one, two, three, whatever you want to do, you could, I could say Crew 1, and then Crew 2 could be on the same project, and they could have their own stream. They would call it Crew 2, right? Or if they want to pull off of your data stream, then when they fire the rover up under IBSS, they just choose your correction stream. That would be coming off what you're broadcasting, which would be your base, right? Create. So it says updating. I say accept. Now it prompts me for my Wi-Fi. So now it's asking me for my Wi-Fi because I don't have it set up. Now, if you've already set this up in your receiver, then it's going to automatically connect up every time. You're not going to have to go through all this. This is just kind of one, if, provided you use the same internet source each time for your base station, okay? So let's say scan. Let's see what we come up with. GPS internet, that is what I'm calling this Wi-Fi here. Network connect security. It's asking for the security. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Made it easy. Accept. And I'm gonna say connect. I think it's already connecting anyways. Give it a second. It's looking for the IP address. So it's gonna give it an internet um, ad, a net address 192.168.1.72. So that tells me it has connected to this thing. I'm gonna say accept. Starting IBSS base, point name number one, key in, here, we'll call it CP, enter, store, start. Boom. So what we've done is we created an internet base. Um, we chose a stream. That you'll see that here in just a second when we connect to the rover, you'll see that stream. Now, maybe it'll make a little bit of sense to you then. I, this is, I know I'm kind of going through this quick and this is a lot to swallow, but we'll I, we'll play with this more in future videos and stuff. So you ain't gonna worry about that. I'll, I'll probably be using this quite a bit. Um, so if I go to measure and I go back to IBSS and I say measure points, connecting GNSS rover R12i. So give it a second because it's sitting out there outside the door. There it goes. So it's going to give me a mount point. YouTube control. See that? That's my mount point. So if I had crew one, crew two, crew three, whatever, I could choose one of their data streams at this point and be pulling off of their base. So I could run one base and multiple rovers off of that stream. Does that make sense? So um, right now this is the only thing I have broadcasting so I'm going to use my base and I'm going to say accept. So it's opening connection. You see a little green check mark by the globe up there? Go from red to, to green. That's a pretty good sign that you're going to be able to connect up. There you go. Going through Trimble servers. We're connected up based to rubber via cell phone. So, you know, all this is dependent on parts per man and, um, and how far you can get away. Because what happens when you go base to rover, cell phone, or you tie to a single base solution, you got to be careful because your um, base satellite is coming through one atmosphere. And if you get too far away, and I think that number is like six kilometers, I'm wanting to say, you've got your, your rover is coming through a different atmosphere. When that starts happening, you start having parts from in air just like you would with the total station, right? So you can't correct it, so you gotta be careful. You can't get too far away. I mean, I tell people most of the time, 10 miles is plenty for anything you're gonna be doing. So uh, 10 miles is great. 20 miles is probably the absolute farthest I would wanna go and carry any kind of uh, vertical for sure. Horizontal would probably be okay. Vertical would be a little iffy for me. It would kind of depend on atmospheric conditions. If it's bright and sunny, beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky at where my base is at and where my rover's at, I might try it. But you got to be careful because atmospheric conditions change during the day. So this morning it looks good. 30 minutes from now it could change. So you have to be careful getting your base and rover too far apart. Okay, that, That's an issue. We don't worry about that with radio because we can't get that far apart. But with Sailor, you can, so be careful with that. So um, that is how you go base to rover. So let me recap here. 
you need a MiFi of some sort. The the um, SIM card slot in the R10s and R12s or 3G modems, AT&T killed 3G, so that, that's a done deal, right? So you can't use that. So you have to use something like a MiFi right now until Trimble comes out with another receiver. The R750 is does have a 4G modem in it. The R780 doesn't even have a cellular modem in it at all, but you can still set this up the same way with that. So um, 750 has an AT&T only SIM card slot in it that you can take off two screws off the back and put it on there. Um, so you need an internet source at the base, you need an internet source at the rover, right? SIM card may be in the data collector, um, a MiFi at the base station. So you can use some different stuff. Like I've got this thing, I, they gave me a Trimble from last, last year when I did a presentation. So it's got a um, cool little deal. I can actually pull that out, plug that into here, and I can charge this thing up. So I could leave this with this, right? So it would run all day if I wanted to. So, um, I, mean, it, I mean, any way you want to power one of these things, you know, they're only going to last probably for a few hours. So um, you want to um, to make sure that you can run all day because, I mean, you be 10 miles away from the base station, it'd suck if the battery died in your MiFi, wouldn't it? So, um, so you, you've got that. You need to make sure that you keep your terminal warranties up on, on access because all this is tied back to your access warranties. Your map, the IBSS, all tied back to the warranties. I know it's $600 a year. I know, I know, I know. But if you want to use it, you got to pay to play. So um, cool stuff. I've got a, a deal that I use on mine. Um, I've got a, my website. If you go to my website, I do actually, if you if you subscribe, I've actually got one video on there that shows you how to do this in R12. But I have to assign you a port for your base and your rover. I do mine a little bit different. And it doesn't make any difference whether or not you keep your warranties up to date on mine. And it really, if you want to get down to it, I can make it work with just about any piece of equipment. But anyways, R8s, um, you just need TSC3 at the base. Long story. I, I, we'll get into that later. I'll tell you about it. What's really cool is you need to look at this IBSS because this is really a neat little setup um, that I think that uh, would be super beneficial for a lot of you. So, uh, anyways, okay. Internet connection. Trimble Connect. Create a stream. And you're good to go. Life is good, okay? So you can run multiple rovers off one base. You just need to tie to that stream, whatever stream that is, right? You can call it control point number 42 if you want to. But that stream, you can have, you can, you can come out there tomorrow, you can set up a base on another point, you're still using that stream. So that stream, my mind needs to kind of go back to you. Maybe your name, maybe your, if you've got a crew number or something like that on a, you know, your crew one, crew two, crew three, maybe you want to have your stream in that project name that. I don't know. Us surveyors have never been really good at organization, and Trimble keeps trying to force us to organize, right? So they're, they're trying to make us better surveyors. So, um, guys, um, I've got to go get packed. i got to leave for Trimble Dimensions. This video is going to be coming out Tuesday, um, I hope, and uh, I will be working with Ethan in a class Tuesday and talking about some of this stuff. So um, a little bit more in depth on some of it. So it will be pretty cool. Um, but uh, gosh, guys, I got a lot going on. <laughs> I got too many irons in the fire. So it's uh, headed towards 1130 right now. So um, anyways, God bless guys. I love you guys. Um, let's see where I'm at. I'm curious to know, have I hit have I hit 10,000 subscribers? Woohoo! I finally hit 10,000 subscribers. Ain't that awesome? So, you guys are great. I really appreciate you guys. Um, so, keep up the good work. Keep telling your friends to subscribe and um, give us a stronger voice at Trimble, right? So, they'll, they'll listen to us when we gripe. <laughs> right now, I don't really care. So, um, guys, God bless. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video or. Hopefully, I'll run into you at Terminal Dimensions. So, you guys take care.